Hello guys, I just got this Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival in the mail from Nintendo, so it is a review copy of this, even though the game is already out, but I wanted to show off some of the gameplay for this. I'm going to be going through the different modes uh, in no particular order. Some of these I might do another day with a friend, or a sibling perhaps, spoiler alert. Um, but the way this works is you use the amiibo that typically come with the game. So my game came with Digby and Isabel here. So we got Digby, we got, we got Isabel, and depending on which mini game you're playing in this, uh, you're going to be using different amiibo, different amounts of amiibo, and they also, the game came with um, three amiibo cards, which are the same as those Happy Home Academy cards basically, and those are used in certain mini games also. So the main mini game here is the board game, but that's going to be a lot more fun to play with friends, so I'm going to hold off on that for now, and I'm just going to jump into one of these other ones, like uh, Acorn Chase. This one is a one player only, so it's perfect for me right now when I have no friends. So the way this one works is you use the three amiibo cards and tap them on the gamepad to choose your direction, basically. So first of all, we gotta scan all three in. We got Stitches. We got Rosie. We got Goldie. Start. Doesn't really matter which ones you use. It just chooses the characters that are gonna be playing with it. And so, what we do here, I'm gonna set my gamepad down on the table. Oh, we're already starting. All right. So the goal here is to tap the card, the corresponding card, in order to go in that direction. And you want to collect all of the all of the acorns before the giant lawnmower can get to you. Oh shoot, I overdid it. I'm gonna die. Yep, see, we got eaten by the lawnmower. Hold on. I wasn't ready. Let's try that again. <laughs> This time I'm going to aim the camera down so you can see more. Okay. So. So, here we go. So once again, here are the cards. And we're going to use them to choose our direction. And I have this, this uh, strategy here where I hold two in one hand and uh, just switch them around like that. By the way, if you accidentally pick up one of the rotten ones, you have to start over. Like, it re resets the acorns, and that's bad. I'm a an idiot. <laughs> Let's try it again, one more time. No, not one more time, we're gonna go until I finish. I'll just edit the video if it takes too long. <laughs> I did this yesterday. But this, this actually gets pretty intense, and it's not as easy as you would think it is. This is not the most intuitive control scheme, but that's kind of the point. The, oh, that was a rotten one. Well, now you know what happens if you get a rotten one. Oops, wrong one. Uh, I'm an idiot. I keep mixing him up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. This is this is failure. I had a system going last time, but it's totally ruined. All right, this is fine. I can recover from this. See, we're getting there. Rosie, go. There it is. All right. Level one queer. And it gets bigger. I'm thinking maybe if I hold two in my right hand instead, I might have a better time. Oh yeah, this is going way better. Way better. 
I'm getting the hang of it again now. No worries. See how good that was? That was basically a speed run. Final round! Stato! Go! Go! I wasn't quite on the sensor. That was my fault. Whoops. Probably leading the path up there past where I need to go was a bad idea. But, I'll make it work. Yeah, I'm not gonna... No! Wrong button! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> wrong button, I say, as I'm not pushing any buttons. I can do this, alright? I can do this. There we go. Perfect. Alright, I'm gonna go over here first. of getting that rotten one. Alright. See, that was good, too. That was good. You just gotta get the hang of it. One more to go. See how fast I'm back to where I was. This looks like a pretty good setup, too. I got lucky. See, there it is. That is how it's done. That might even new, be a new record for me. Let's find out. I don't know exactly how the time works. Yeah, new record. There we go. So it, it's the time you have left is the record. And that's basically all there is to it. You can play it again, but it's just the same three levels. So that is the acorn whatever it was called. You also get bonus, you get points for that, and uh, you get those tickets in the top left corner, and those are what you use to unlock more mini games. Let's try another one. Uh, this balloon one here, Balloon Island, is one to four players, and you need a minimum of one card. So, and I guess it doesn't matter. If you have four players, you still don't need more than one card. But if you have more than one card, you can do that. So I'm going to choose my uh, my person. I'm going to be boy one. I haven't renamed them yet, but you can rename the uh, villagers. And so the way this works is you want to you're going to drop the uh, animals from the sky onto the balloons, and you want to get the most balloons you can, and try to land on the multiplier. And the way you do that is you hold the card down. And when you hold the card down, it has the person hovering there. And then when you release the card, they'll fall. Perfect. Just kidding, that was terrible. Let's start over. Perfectly wrong. Yes, restart.
So, it's kind of like a pachinko game in a way. Alright, we're summoning stitches here. Drop her, him or her, I don't even know. Well, I got the times three. Not a very many balloons there, but that's okay. Next up, I'm going to use Goldie. And drop Goldie from the sky. Let's get Goldie going over a little bit along with the island. Oh no, Goldie ended up bouncing the other way. And you get zero if you fall in the water. Doesn't that suck? I have a really high score because I got a really lucky multiplier the last time I played this. See, there's a times ten multiplier here. Looks like... Looks like I'm in the drink. Alright. So, there's there's quite a bit of luck involved here, but there is some some skill with when you drop them. I'll try it one more time. See how it goes. This time we're using Rosie to start. Why not? She came from a different direction. Alright, well, I didn't lose my points, so that's a step in the right direction. Where are we coming from? Alright, this looks... this looks... No! Stop going that way! No! Rest in pieces. We got a burial at sea for that one. That poor animal. The training of these poor creatures is simply barbaric. I'm dead again. As you can see, I'm pretty bad at this game. But, uh, it's certainly satisfying when you actually do get points. So, that's that. There's another minigame. That's pretty much all there is to it. What else do we have? There's the quiz show. The quiz show is uh, is actually pretty challenging. So you can do one to four players, and you do need a card for each player. So if you wanted to play four player, you would need to buy an extra uh, amiibo card. Um, so yeah, the rules are also different depending on whether you're playing with one or more, one or more players. So I will probably record this again with more with other players. But for now, I'll show you what single player looks like. This is correct, yes. So this is basically Animal Crossing trivia. And I have played all of the major Animal Crossing games. I haven't played Happy Home Academy. Which, by the way, you can use Happy Home Academy data to do stuff in this game. But since I don't have the game, I'm not going to be able to do that for you. So, single player quiz show is basically answer as many questions as you can within the limited time. And the options appear on the gamepad. So I'm going to have to be looking at the TV to see the question and then on the gamepad to see um, what answer I want to do. And there are quite a few answers to choose from and they're really hard questions. So we'll see how it goes. What model was that? That's the... That's the... Uh, that's one of those, right? Totally wrong. I don't remember what that is. Sorry. I don't know my dinosaurs. It's the Velociraptor. That is the jewel beetle, right? Just kidding, that was a fruit beetle. <laughs> We're good. We're good. What piece of clothing is this? Oh my gosh. I got one. I got one. Black spots on wings? Oh my goodness. I don't know. These are so hard, really. The high score I have is from, like, super good luck. And I don't know my dinosaurs. Hey, good, I got it from totally lucky guess. Which one is real? Oh my. Oh my. I'm gonna guess D. Nice. And 
And this is an actual trivia question. Like, I have no idea. I'm just gonna guess. I don't know, Art. These are really hard. I'm, like, ah! I don't know what to say. Look at this, and there's eight choices. You just gotta hope. You gotta hope. Or you gotta be a really, really big Animal Crossing fan. Like, I'm pretty big into Animal Crossing, but... I'm not big enough, apparently. I'll try another one, just to show it off. So when you do this multiplayer, it like, changes the lighting between... It has like a spotlight on the different characters. And so, everybody's gonna be gathered around the gamepad, and to buzz in, they'll like, put their card on the gamepad. And, uh, so that's sort of how that one works. But, once again, I'll, I'll record that another day. Here we go! Oh my gosh. Please, yo! Yes! I knew that one. I knew that one. That's some... There's... Okay, like, there were four different... Four different cicada options, just for that. So it's like, oh yeah, it's a cicada, but no, it's like, which cicada is it? It's ridiculous. That's a, that's a dragonfly. Red dragonfly? Yeah, it was red, so... I guessed. Oh, that's the stego. No? What's that called? Tricera. It's not a stegosaur. I'm, I'm dumb. That's a triceratops. Which one is fake? Dang it. Oh, A? Yes! The mountain is way too big in that one. What shoes? I don't know! Leopard pumps! Nice. It takes forever just to read all the options. But this is going really well. Tom, look! No, I clicked the wrong one! <laughs> I knew that one! <laughs> Dang it! Dang it! I'm guessing D. Oh, shoot. That's not the one I thought. Finish. I can't believe I misclicked on Tom Nook. That's so obnoxious. Would I, would I have beaten my score there? Let's find out. Nah, I don't... I don't know. I don't think I would have beaten my score. But, anyway, there's the quiz show for single player. Let's go back to the plaza. Alright, we got another ticket, but I still don't really have enough to unlock anything new. Uh, we can do the island adventure. Maybe I'll do that. Oh yeah, this is single player. Alright. I think I'm going to do that in another episode, though, so for now I'm going to end it here. Um, thanks for watching, subscribe if you like this, like it if you like this, follow me on Twitch and you can watch me play stuff like this live. Um, that's about it then, so once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.